And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fable 3. I have no idea why the audio cuts out once in a while, so I just have to keep an eye on it. I uh, updated my drivers to see if that was a problem. No, so I'm guessing it just doesn't like Fable 3. <laughs> so, anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the support button. Let's go play some Fable 3, and let's see how far we can get into this gameplay slash campaign. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Majesty. It's it's more beautiful than I dared to imagine. And heavy, too. Our experts estimate it's worth a small fortune. Of course, now the question becomes, what do you wish to do with this fine stone? Shall I deposit the money from the sale into the treasury? A truly selfless act. I am constantly in awe of your generous and noble spirit. Putting the safety of your people before your own reward. Bravo, your majesty. Bravo. The Treasury's health is robust, but we must always be wary of unnecessary expenditures and watch out for possible avenues of profit. With that in mind, I would like to discuss the thorny issue of child benefits, which were abolished under your brother's rule. There are vocal elements within the community... Very well, Your Majesty. The breeders amongst the rabble will be ecstatic, I'm sure. Perhaps you are considering making a personal donation to the Treasury to make up for the shortfall. It is entirely your decision, as always. Shall we proceed with the rest of your appointments? Here is the royal agenda for the day. As you can see... You have two audiences in the throne room to begin. I've heard rumors that Reaver's latest proposals are both scandalous and delicious. It should be most entertaining. Ah, your loyal commander. This is where you can see how he's getting on. Combat proficiency, any new tricks he's learned, uh, uh, that sort of thing. Fancy a bit of counting, do you? Do be careful. Now that you have been exposed to the whole fortune, it can be treacherous, especially on the north side.
people's princess. That's what you are. Is a prezi. All stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. And well met you. This hearing concerns the future of the Bowerstone Shelter and Orphanage. Paige will speak for the disenfranchised people of the city. Reaver will dispute her cause. You may speak. Your Majesty, the shelter has long been the only refuge for the homeless, the poor, and the orphaned. And until we can change the whole world for the better, it will continue to be their only hope of survival. Isn't it time we held out a helping hand to those who need it most? The shelter is underfunded and the building has fallen into disrepair. The poor of this city have suffered enough. We will renovate the shelter and orphanage. The Bowerstone shelter shall be refurbished at the Crown's expense. Thank you, Your Majesty. You've done the right thing. As you wish, Your Majesty. The parentless tykes and their destitute friends shall have a palace to call their own. Are you a beggar? Too lazy to own your own clothes? Or perhaps an orphan? aching for a bowl of gruel, then come to Reva Industries Shelter and Orphanage, where you'll find food, beds, clothes, and even new parents. No matter who you are, we care, even if you don't deserve it. Today, you will deal with a pressing environmental issue the disposal of the city's waste. Reaver will offer his proposal. A member of the Morningwood community will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, I'm sure you will have noticed a certain aroma permeating the city of late, even more nauseating than usual. I fear it is not merely the stench of the underprivileged, Bowerstone is beginning to have a serious waste disposal issue. We require an inexpensive and efficient solution, and I believe I have hit upon one. Uh, now, currently, part of our waste is being disposed of in the Morningwood Marsh. With very little effort, Reaver Industries could redirect all of the Bowerstone sewer system to flow directly into that region. As you know, it's a desolate place with no financial or cultural value to the kingdom. There could be little discussion as to the logic of this decision. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This isn't right. Not right at all. We're all children of the soil. It's in our hearts. It's in our blood. It's under our fingernails. What I mean is we're all equal when it comes to dirt, like. From dirt we come to dirt we go, yes? We who reside in Morningwood have as good a claim to being clean as anyone. And what of Morningwood itself? Its nature spirits, its woodland elves, and water fairies. Do they not deserve freedom from pollution too? Don't destroy paradise with your urban dregs, man. Channel the waste. Be one with the cycle of life. You have all these, like, factories and stuff, don't you? Turn one into a, you know, a, oh, what do you call it? One of those things, a, a sewage reclamation facility, right on. What shall you decide, Your Majesty? Morningwood is to be left unspoiled. We will find other ways to deal with Bowerstone's sewage problem. The Queen has spoken. Morningwood shall not be used as a waste site. The Sanitation Committee will look into safer alternatives. Groovy. You are like a majestuous eagle, Your Majesty. You are in touch with your inner... your inner innards. 
Granny Nature thanks you from, like, the bottom of her heart. A pity. I must admit I was rather looking forward to breathing fresh air, but I'm sure your majesty knows best. There is nothing as important as the health and hygiene of our citizens. As such, Riva Industries is delighted to announce the opening of the Bowerstone Sewage Recycling Facility. Because there can be no affluence without effluence. <laughs> The day is almost over, Your Majesty. Only one more appointment left. Paige has requested a meeting in the old rebel headquarters. How very cloak and dagger. I wonder what she wants. Ah, hello. It's not every day a queen walks into the rebel headquarters. Good. Kid went undercover with a gang of robbers and found out their plans. They're going to strike the tavern in Bowerstone Market. If you get there in time, you can stop the raid. And at least one of those thugs must know where Ferret is holed up. Have you checked the sanctuary shop recently? I believe that
you cooperate, you won't get hurt. But if you give us any trouble, we'll kill you. Now, just so you know we mean business, I'd like one of you to give us trouble, so we can kill him as an example to the rest. Who's it gonna be then? Oh look, we have a volunteer. The Queen, no less. Have at her, fellas. This girl's rich. Mugger her fun looting a corpse. It is no longer advantageous for any of us to frequent the hideout in industrial. Presently, I shall inaugurate a new center of operations in Ballastone Market. You've been provided with a key which will permit access. Please endeavor to prevent its transference to an unauthorized individual. Again. It does tend to obviate the entire objective of maintaining a secret hideout if your enemies can simply infiltrate whenever they've the inclination. Lads, perform the specific services for which I employ you expeditiously. Huh? Killer! Fast! The throne's gonna be cold tomorrow without your ass pressing on. You can't cast spells on my mates like that, you swine! Kidnap me! Please let me out! Keep the noise down! Hey! You felt it!
I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. Looks like we're going to be doing this a long time. You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. You that's royal for the queen miscreant! This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. You have made great strides, Your Majesty. Witness the glory of your treasury. Don't you just want to go swimming in all that gold? But the kingdom demands your attention once more. The time has come to make a decision on Albion's drinking laws. Under Logan's rule, our citizens are restricted in the amount of alcohol they can purchase per day. As you wish. Let the streets be filled with poor, drunken revelers. Perhaps Perhaps it will take their minds off their impending doom. This will leave a noticeable gap in our budget, however. If you are feeling particularly generous, you may wish to make a personal donation to bridge that gap. Let us move on to other matters, Your Majesty. You have a busy day in the throne room ahead. Samuel, the head of the Brightwall Academy, is ready to plead his case. I sincerely hope he isn't after a handout, though I'm sure Master Reaver will be the voice of reason, as always. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Fancy a bit of counting, do you? Just doing a bit of bookkeeping, eh?
your orders. At your service. All stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Well, here she comes. There'll be a judgment soon. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> your Majesty, it was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and culture flourished and so did the people of Brightwall. The Brightwall Academy will be open to all who wish to learn. The Brightwall Academy shall be reopened and Albion will once again have a free center of learning. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. This is the start of a new day for us all. Very well, I will make the arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. Everyone, from the most impoverished genius to the wealthiest idiot, is welcome. Brightwall Academy. Whatever you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reba. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reva will offer his... So before we continue that, I'm going to stop the video right here, and then we'll pick it up again in a moment. Make sure you hit that love button, make sure you support button. I'm going to go check on the video and make sure everything is working correctly. I'll see you again soon.